All right, hello and welcome to another Coffee with Quarto. And today we will be looking into using another LSP server or language server with Quarto or document specifically Marksman. And with this is uh, because the actual Quarto language server is not out yet. And there's just also so much more that people are doing with Markdown. So uh, we of course want to make use of all of these amazing things out there. So uh, let's look in, into this language server. And because Neovim has the LSP client built in, we can of course attach any language server. But there are some things to uh, keep in mind when we're setting this up to work with Quarto and not just Marksman uh, and not just Markdown. Uh, and also how this interacts with our code chunks in here. So uh, let me quickly show you what it can do. And then I'll show you how we can configure this. And well, you don't have to do all the configuration yourself. You can also just uh, move to the latest version of the Quarto and Vim Kickstarter configuration. I just push this and also I push the changes that were necessary for this in order to um, make it work for Quarto and Vim and the otter.nvim extension. All right. Um, so I have the links in here. I will put them all down in the description below. Uh, this is the Marksman language server. You can do a bunch of cool things. For example, I have here a heading. If I activate the hover function of this, uh, in my case, this is Shift K, um, capital K. We see the actual he heading here. We can go to this heading using go to reference, which is GR. And then we see where we're using this heading. We can, if we are in here, hover over it, or we are in here, we can press GD, which means go to definition. And now we end the correct heading. And this even works across projects. So here I am referencing a heading in another project. I can hover it, I can go to definition, go back, start, start, uh, control shift six. Um, and we also get code completion. Here we are having uh, the reference for another file in our project. And I think we should get, maybe if I just start typing in here. Ah, if I just start typing, I get it from the buffer. Okay. And another cool thing we get from having this language server attached is this language server registers our heading as language, uh, server uh, references. So for example, if I go telescope, LSP, what do we have? We have LSP symbols, workspace symbols. And these are not very helpful. I mean, LSP document symbols. And these are all the headings in our file. Another way of looking at this is if we press in our Kickstarter configuration uh, spacebar L O for outline, and it gives us all the document symbols in a Python project. For example, this would be your classes and methods. Uh, and in here, it's our markdown headings. Leader L O to close it again. Uh, likewise, um, oh, we can refactor stuff, which is also helpful. Uh, Leader L capital R for renaming stuff. So let's use, for example, this here, another heading, which we're referencing here. And let's rename it. And we see that the reference to it also gets renamed across our project. Now, this is incredibly handy. And let's yeah quickly go over how to set this up because we still want our Quarto stuff to work as well. In this Quarto code chunk, we still get our code completion and our, our hovering in here. We can hover in here. We can go to definition in here. All that stuff works. So how does Quarto and uh, our plugin ecosystem know that in here we want to, well, go to the definition of inside this code. And in here, we want to go to the definition of the Markdown language server. And for this, let's quickly look into how this is uh, configured. Let's open up Vim again on NeoVim and press S to go to our configuration and look into the LSP configuration. Marksman 
Now all my LSP servers get a function that is being called on attach, but I had to write a different one for the marksman one. Um, because there's one crucial change, if I go to definition here, this function sets the key bindings. However, if then the markdown server attaches, it will override the key binding I have configured in Quarto or Otter, which is in this case GD and capital K for go to definition and hover. But I don't want the normal uh, Lua Vim LSP buff hover. I want the one from our Otter package or our Quarto package. So uh, in this case, the attach function is just the same thing. It just doesn't configure these key bindings. And these are then configured in Quarto instead. Uh, so if I go in here, key bindings, I'm just using the default Quarto one that I've configured. Maybe I can quickly show you uh, how this works and why this works in case you want to extend uh, this yourself. Let's go onto the projects for me and go into auto.enzym open it up and open the otter keeper, which keeps our otters. And the important change, um, which if you're just a user, you may not care about, but if you want to use otter yourself in your own plugins, or you want to extend Quarto and otter to Envim, this is uh, really cool for you. Um, when I'm sending a request to ask the language server for stuff, like for example, give me a hover or give me a completion, or well, this is handled in a different place, but. Um, also give me all references. This is uh, handled by Otter, but now what otter.envin does is, if it is not currently in the language con context, where we have, for example, a code chunk, if it's outside this code chunk, it is instead calling a fallback function that you can pass to this. So an example of this would be, Request hover. Where have I defined this? Let's ask hover. Okay. Or ask definition. Let's go to the hover one instead. When we are asking for a hover in a buffer where we have put it up above us attached, it will send the hover a request. But if it's not in a context, it will just do the normal Vim LSP buff hover. So this means if I go uh, back to my teaching document, if I press Shift K in here, we are not in Otter context, so we're getting the normal marksman uh, answer. If we're in here, we are getting the one from the attached Otter buffer. There's one more configuration to do, uh, and this is specifically for marksman itself. Um, marksman does have uh, its own configuration, which is either in the project or in your home folder. Um, in .config marksman config.toml. Let me quickly show you how this looks. Let's go to my home folder. It's .config slash marksman. In Windows, somewhere else, you can see it in the documentation down here. It's config.toml. And we need to tell marksman that it should also work on Quarto documents. And then it will also find these in our project and then we are good to go. So um, have fun with this cool configuration and I'll see you in the next one.